so, so how much is this going to cost? This? Yeah. 1500 How much? 1500 1500 yeah. What about the Viagra? Camp how much? Price. 1500 yeah. Cam Agra? Yeah. How much is that? 25 25 my God. Is this real? It's real. You sure? Yeah. Yeah, let's, let's have a look. Oh, yeah, that, that's got... No, 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 don't open it. Don't open it. Let's have a look at the hologram. 100 milligrams. Uh, it's got it's got a sticker hologram there. It's not bad, but, it's, but there's no hologram on it. How many packets you buy? How many packets you buy? No, I'm not. Hang on a minute. What about this one? 20 milligram. No hologram at all on that one. Yeah. Okay. Not sure about that. Okay. Thank you. I'll have a look at it, mate. Thank you. G'day. Welcome to the channel. Well, I've been walking up and down the streets around here. That is in the streets of Angeli City and I keep getting offered Viagra, Taladafil, um, what else was I offered today? Um, Valium. One guy even said I can get morphine. You know, I mean it's crazy stuff, right? And I know it's absolute bullshit, right? There's no way they can get that kind of stuff on the street. Nor would I even expose myself to that kind of thing for fear of being in trouble with the law or compromising my health, right? Hang on. So which one's which one now? You're giving me for 500? Yeah. This one's 500 yeah. now. Okay. You've come from 15 down to 500. I don't believe it's real. Okay. So um, how much is the Camagra, mate? 1,500. 1,500. What else you got in your bag? Viagra, uh, 1,000. Viagra's 1,000. Okay. What else? Anything else? Sailus, you got Sailus? Yeah. How much is that? Same, same, brother. One thousand five hundred. Yeah, yeah. What's your lowest price you can give? One for you, I give you one thousand for you. You give me one thousand for me. Now, how do I know it's real? All real, bro. They're all real, are they? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So if I take that and I die, what's going to happen? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> how much of that do you sell every day? Uh, maybe uh, sometimes two, two bucks. Yeah. That's hard. That's hard to hard to earn a living, because, isn't it? Uh, small uh, people now, brother. Yeah, 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 yeah. Small, uh, Is there many people here now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Okay, yes, all right. All right. What else you got? What else you got to sell? Just just no, the drugs? Uh, uh, Any other drugs? No, 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 brother. No, this drugs. This yes, this drug. These are drugs. <laughs> Any other drugs? No. Look, I, I don't Valium? Know you drugs. sell Valium? Only, only medicine. Yeah, med I mean medicine. Medicine is, we call medicine drug too. Yeah, yeah. Do you sell any other medicine? Like this. Um, like, for, um, somebody tried to sell me this morning Valium. 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 They said yeah. No, no Valium. No. Good. Okay. All right. Well, thank you, mate. Anyhow, as the story goes, walking down the street, and one guy hits me up. Uh, so I have a conversation, and I learn a little bit about what he's doing and what he's offering. And it starts off at around about 1,500 pesos per box, right? So something like Cialis, or their artificial Cialis. I, I say artificial because they've got another product that, that's similarly named to Cialis, but the boxes they were presenting me were labelled Cialis. So, Cialis on the street, 20 milligram tablets, right? Four tablets to a box. Now, Cialis generally is a very safe drug, right? So it's well known, well used, and well controlled around the world. And as long as it's you know uh, used under the supervision of a doctor, you've got no problems, right? But when you get idiots throwing this stuff around, or any other drug for that matter, willy-nilly, and you know, not considering things like, you know, the person's current medical condition or the meds that they're currently on and if, you know, their medical condition could be compromised as a consequence of taking those drugs, you know, you're in a pretty risky situation. So, so first point I want to make is don't buy this shit on the street, right? It's, it's, it's not going to work for you. Now, I've heard other guys speaking in places around here that say, yeah, 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 I bought it, it's worked for me. Yeah, well, well, maybe it has, maybe it has, or maybe there's just been a psychological situation that you've had that's uh, been suppressed because, you've you know, because of the placebo effect or the effect that you think it's having an effect on your, you know, 
performance, let me say. Keep it clean, right? So anyway, go from one guy to another guy, and their and their prices are pretty much the same, right? They're charging 1,500 pesos for Cialis, 1,500 pesos for Viagra, and 1,500 pesos for Camagra gel, right? So not only is a gel, you uh, you take it orally. Um, that's about it, right? Then also in their trays, they've got some all sorts of weird and wonderful drugs. So I thought, you know what I'd do today? I'd go and have a conversation with a couple of pharmacists and just find out a little bit about what they know about it. You know, I mean, these people are the professionals. They sell the real stuff, right? So I'm trying to get down to, you know, some form of proof that this stuff is absolute garbage, right? So stay with me while I do that. I'm just going to go into a pharmacist at the moment and I'm not going to embarrass the pharmacist by asking them to go on the channel or, you know, put them on the channel. I mean, they, they don't have anything or any reason to, to do that. So, you know, I'm not paying anybody any money or anything to perform for me in any of my videos. So I'm just going to do the research myself and then I'm going to present it back on the channel. So stay with me. I'm just about to walk into my first pharmacist. And they might tell me to just go and jump. All right, fair enough. I'll, I'll just go to the next one. You know, they don't really have to help me here. But I'm going to create a general concern story and see, see how we go. Well, that's the first pharmacist down. They don't want to talk about it. They're not interested in having any conversation with me on the topic. So I'm going to have to come up with something better to stimulate them to talk to me about it because if you really think about it, it's in their interest to expose it if it's fakes any. It's in their interest to expose the fakes anyway, right? So let's see how we go. I'll try another one. Okay, that pharmacist was a bit better. He couldn't assure me either way what was in the product. But through conversation, we both were concluding that it couldn't possibly be uh, real. And he said, the only way to know is to have it analysed in a lab, which I'm not going to do, but there was, it, there was a lab hand here that was relatively cheap, I'd do that. But he said to me, look, how much How much are they charging for it? So I told him the prices, and he, saw, he, he rolled his eyes, and he said, I'll, I'll, what, I'll, what I'll do for you is I'll look up the price of Cialis, and it'll give you an indication of what it's worth, right? So... He looked it up and he said one pill was retailing at 900 pesos. 900 pesos for one pill, right? So if you're buying 900 pesos for one pill and these guys are selling four pills for 500 pesos, go figure, right? So that was interesting, seeing the real price of Cialis versus what they're selling on the street. So, a really good indication. Now what I'm looking for, now that I've got that, is I want to know the price of the generic product, Teladafil, in a pharmacy, right? Now, I would trust that a pharmacy, if they supplied me a generic product of that, it would be of the proper concentration of the product. So, I'm gonna find a pharmacist that will tell me the price and, uh, on top of that, I'd also like to know the cost price. If I was able to find that out, then uh, I think we've got some valuable pieces of information too to go on. All right, stay with me. No, that's okay, no problem, miss. I'm not going to buy it. Okay. I just want to... All right, so I just left another pharmacist that did confirm to me that um, the original product is 900 pesos for each pill. But interestingly, and I'm amazed by this, I, I don't know if this is right. I, I actually challenged the pharmacist and said, are you sure? Like, yes. Yes, sir, that's what the price is. She then said, I've got a generic here, and um, it's a lot cheaper. Okay. Um, can I look at it? That's really helpful, really helpful lady. And um, 
I, and I think it was because I told her what I was doing on the vlog and that I was going to make it public that the stuff that they were selling on the streets were potentially harmful to people because we didn't know what was in them, right? So she goes, yeah, yeah, no problem. So she goes out the back, just not say out the back of the whole shop, but just at the back of the counter there. And she grabbed this box. I, uh, I asked her, can I video this? And she said, sure you can. Right? So I moved it away from the register and stuff. And I, I just took a little shot of it. And uh, I said, yeah, how much is that? And she said, these are 5350 each. Now my mind's going 5350, 5350, 5350, those are 5350 each pill. Madam, are you sure? She goes, yes sir, that's our price. I said, that's cheaper than what these guys on the streets are selling it for. She goes, I don't know. I said, that's the, that's the legitimate product. She goes, yes. Okay, alright. What do you say to that? So. I'm going to keep looking and see if I can confirm that now because I am really confused about the pricing on this product now, okay? So let me have a look and see what I can find. 53 pesos, 150 pesos, yeah? Okay, thank you so much. We just went into another drugstore. This time, I mean, well, you're probably going to get sick of this, but I think the point is that we're trying to understand the basis of the pricing as a mechanism to determine whether or not the product's got any credibility or not, right? Okay, well, I've pretty much exhausted all of the pharmacies that I'm prepared to go to. They're all coming back with the same story, so it's the same information coming back to me. But what I also did do is I popped in and seen a doctor. I talked to the receptionist and said, you know, how much is it to see a doctor to get a, a script written? Uh, consultation, sir, is 500 pesos. I knew that because I did another video on that. So 500 pesos for the consultation and anywhere up to 500 pesos for the script, right? Now, I mean, you know, it's a piece of paper, so you could probably negotiate on that. I don't know, right? But let's say, let's say you paid a thousand, okay? So a thousand pesos, and then you go and pick up the generic stuff that uh, I've highlighted already. You're already in front of these people that are trying to sell you the 1500 um, peso pack. I mean, I know they come down to five, 500, but there's a reason for that, right? I hope it helps the guys out there that really do need the medications. And if there's anybody out there that wants to explore these medications, go and see a doctor. It won't cost you an arm and a leg. And at the end of the day, you will get quality medical advice and also get quality med medicines as well. No need, to, no need to risk your health while you're here, guys. There's far too many other things that can go wrong. Look after yourselves. Look after your health. I hope this video helps you. If it did, please like and subscribe and share. Have a nice day and take care.